Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Hit all notifications if you want to be notified when I upload new content. Guys, this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's get into the energy of Gemini, and then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, Clarity, and Guidance for Gemini, please. So I feel like you may... You may be trying to... I feel like there's a third party that's trying to win at all costs playing mind games. So I feel like you, you're dealing you're dealing with someone who could be very narcissistic and this person is just a lot of drama. So let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Gemini starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. Somebody's waiting out in the cold. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's trying to rush in and speak a harsh truth. It's like, I, I feel like there's somebody that spoke a harsh truth. And now because somebody spoke a harsh truth, you are no longer speaking. So with that, that high priestess energy, if you're dealing with another Gemini, somebody's moving forward quickly with somebody from the past. If you're dealing with a cancer. Someone's um, trying to find some balance or be patient about moving forward. Um, I feel like they could be traveling. This person could be on a journey here. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo is very trapped in their head about something, but they're they're taking a leap of faith. So I feel like even though this is this is really good energy for Leo, even though you feel stressed out about it you're doing it anyway. You're taking that leap of faith. Like you're jumping in, even though you're a little nervous, really in your head about it, you're still doing it. That's great energy. Do it afraid, do it in fear, but do it, right? If you're dealing with a Virgo, I felt there's an ending to the burden for Virgo. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody may be trying to reconcile a relationship if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like the emperor may be having a tower moment. So something's happening. Now towers, whether they're good, whether they're bad, let's get another card and find out. Okay, somebody's figuring something out. So there's a tower moment between a, a king of pentacles and a, uh, I'm sorry, a queen of pentacles and an emperor. Um, so these two, just so you know, they're not evenly yoked. These two people... These two people are, um, a queen needs to be with a king and an emperor needs to be with an empress. And you can't have an emperor with a queen because they're not on the same page. They're not both um, ascended at, at, at the right, same vibration. Um, words, Barbara. Okay, anyway, um, the tower moment, something that wasn't built on a solid foundation could crumble. And it may be because they're not on the same page here. They're, they're not on the same vibration. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, you have an empress and the wish fulfillment of an empress. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone's looking back at past mistakes with a king of cups, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they got their star card here. Somebody's holding on to hope. Now the star card is Aquarius energy. And if you're dealing with you're dealing with a Pisces. They also got their card, or actually they're walking away. They've made a decision to walk away. I thought for a second that that was the moon, but that's the two of swords. So um, they've made a decision to walk away from something here if you're dealing with a Pisces. So Gemini, your energy is, um, the energy could be around you too, but there could be a third party that's trying to win at all costs playing mind games. So you may be dealing with a lot of issues right now as stress or whatever. So let's get into your energy and find out what's going on for Gemini. So you do have somebody here that's going to make an offer. They want to be with somebody and they want to make an offer here. 
Um, they're kind of coming in a little immature with the pages. You know, this is emotional communication to take that leap of faith. Um, I feel like this is something they've manifested and they're trying to be patient. Somebody's thinking a lot about something. They're taking the time to look at something from a different perspective. That wheel, something that's faded. There you are, queen of swords, queen of cups. So this could be masculine and feminine energies. Take it out, resonates with you. This could be a masculine uh, queen of swords, king of swords. You see what I'm saying? And, and Or a feminine uh, queen. So in other words, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or a, Taur a Taurus. Okay, Barbara, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. So this is this is what you're thinking about. Somebody here is really wanting to be with somebody and offer their cup. They're looking at something as something that's faded. They're, they're seeing something from a different perspective. But here, somebody's looking back at past mistakes and they may walk away from this. Or somebody made a mistake of walking away. You have a two of cups energy, but you do have somebody that's very jealous of this, right? And you're at a crossroads because of that. There you got that king of swords energy here. You want this new beginning. And I feel like, I don't know if it's with a third party or not. Let me get some clar clarity. If you have the ace of wands under the bottom, you're very passionate about somebody. So Gemini, let's get into this. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Gemini. Why is the Knight of Cups here for Gemini, please? So passionate communication. There's going to be communication with somebody that you really want to be with or that really wants to be with you. Um, there's an offer. I feel like an offer or an apology from somebody from the past. Emotional communication that they want to move forward. And take that leap of faith with the queen of swords. So they want to be with you, Gemini. They want to be with you. They manifest. Oh, your energy was there's somebody, there's somebody that's, that's a third party that's trying to win at all costs playing mind games. You got someone who may be doing magic. So with this magician manifesting, trying to win at all costs playing mind games. So they're they're using magic to try to win, right? So they're they're trying to play games with you. They're mind games and manipulation here. Um, feel like there's going to be an ending here of something. Somebody's ending. Something's going to end where that's concerned. So good. That's good for you that the the mind games and manipulation is going to end, right? Someone's trying to be patient though. Um, and I feel like they may be missing you. They're missing their queen of wands. Somebody's missing the queen of wands. I want to see what this, because you had a third party that was trying to win at all cost. There's something that's hidden. There's an illusion here. Look. Someone's being patient or trying to find some balance, having some regrets. Oh, the Queen of Wands. There's, it's the Queen of Wands that's got the regret. Trying to be patient. Uh, there's an ending here. So something, either secrets, illusions, whatever this is with this Queen of Wands. See, for me, the Queen of Wands is a unique queen. Uh, she's not just an Aries, Leo, or Sag. She is the mistress card. So she is the one who interferes in relationships, right? Um, she does have a wand in her hand and a black cat at her feet. So she's also the sorceress here. So if this person is in an illusion or their secrets and re having some regret, this person may secretly be regretting what they've done. But I'm not buying that for some reason. I feel like people that act like that to begin with, they might regret it if they got it their their ass handed to them um, by reflecting it back. But looking at something from a different perspective, feel a little guarded and defensive, 
right? You do have the wheel of fortune here. So fate is working in your honor here. You, look, fate's working for you. So you have the universe backing you up in this. That's why this ended, right? Because the universe has said enough, right? Fate is working for you. Queen of Swords, there's emotional communication. Queen of Cups, divinely guided. There's, there's something here that's faded, um, and it could be between a Cancer, Pisces, and a Scorpio, and um, Gemini. Looking back at past, the choice between two, and somebody, so walking away was something, because you got two cards clarifying walking away. So somebody ma made a mistake to walk away because of a choice. So they chose wrong. They chose this Queen of Wands over, over Gemini. Uh, but that Two of Cups, somebody's still jealous. And there's somebody at a crossroads. Needing strength. I feel like you're going to hear the truth about the manipulation. Um, the harsh truth in a new manifesting strength. Somebody's manifesting strength to speak the truth. To have a new beginning, right? They do want to reconcile. This is somebody that you know from your past. I got that here too, right? King of Swords wants a victory and a new beginning to work. I feel like wanting to work, working on an apology, wanting to work and and have a victory. And uh, there's a there's some kind of a an offer here, but it may be blocked with that Seven of Wands because you're still kind of trapped in your head. Um, I feel like you're trapped in your head about, I'm getting two things here. So I feel like with this King of Swords, someone's str strategic, not showing emotion. They're, this person wants this new beginning of love and abundance, and they want to work and collaborate. They want to fix this. They want to reconcile, right? But I feel like they, the victory that they want to uh, maybe uh, to offer you something or apologize here may be blocked. Because you're very trapped in your head about this. So, but you're all in your head about it. But somebody's wish fulfillment is for burden to still be there. And betrayal. Okay. This person over here that's feel, acting like they're regretting what they did. They ain't regretting anything. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So they're trying to be patient and they have some regrets. Queen of Wands for whatever this was. The illusion, secrets, illusions, whatever this was, is nonsense right? Because her wish fulfillment is for burden and betrayal. You can't make that up. So this, there's a person who's very jealous of you out there, Gemini. They do not have your best interest at heart. Matter of fact, they're doing manipulation and they are doing magic. And uh, you need to ground center shield and reflect that nonsense back to them. And Make sure you do it on a daily basis. Clear your energy, smudge, you know, do, you know, meditate. You got to do a lot of things to get rid of this nonsense. Right? Codependency. Addictions are affecting this, your romantic life. Now, the person you're dealing with may be drinking too much. Could be you, could be them. Somebody could be doing drugs. They're codependent for something. Um, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. There's attraction and chemistry here. Strong attraction and chemistry, and you are calling in your soulmate. Forgiveness, forgiving yourself and other and an and another will help you to move forward. Here and now, the love your true love is already part of your life. And balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. You need to step back if you're the one who's giving, or the other person, whoever is whoever is giving too much needs to pull back a little bit. They shouldn't give so much because it's going to be unbalanced. You have sanctuary. I feel like you're safe. 
you're safe. There could be a celebration around you. Could be near. It's coming up to your, towards your birthday. So celebration. This could happen around your birthday. Uh, you're protected. I've got sanctuary and protection um, celebration. So this may be around your birthday. Reflection. You're thinking about it. You're absolutely thinking about it. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.